And, uh, you know, the next guys to come in and uh, be just as productive as Bryson was. So just next man in. Who do you expect those, those guys to be from what y'all see in practice? Um, I think Danny Fennell came in and did a really good job. I think behind Daniel, there's um, uh, Brad, Brad Johnson. So uh, know whoever the coaches feel is fit for the position, then that's who will play. What advice do you give those guys who are trying to replace Bryson? Just do your job. Um, do what the coaches tell you to do. And, uh, you know, play within the scheme. DJ, how difficult is it to bring down old Trey Smith in the open field? <laughs> uh, he's a big dude. He's a really big guy. Uh, you know, normally you don't take him down by yourself. It's a, um, a gang tackle. You know, you have a, your, your buddies come in and help you tackle him, but he's a big guy. What's the most dangerous part of that Texas a running game? Those backs or that quarterback? The backs. The, both of their backs can hit it from anywhere. Um, they're fast. They have good vision. Um, you know, they're, they're really good backs. Both of them are. With losing a guy like Bryson, does it help a little bit that the the first two games you're gonna have without him are kind of against those really spread out teams, so you don't necessarily need a lot of three linebacker looks? Um, yeah, it, it, it'd be good to have him for uh, for you know whenever we want to switch it up and things like that. But uh, uh, it's gonna be a, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a sideline to sideline game, a perimeter game. You know, when Bryson's in here talking to us, he's usually pretty loud and boisterous and, and everything. Is there, I imagine he's that way with you guys as well. Is there somebody on the defense who fills in that inspirational role, that, that talking to everybody kind of role? Me. Yeah. 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 TJ, how is this defense going about, you know, improving the pass rush this week? I know you guys only have a sack in the last couple of weeks. I guess how you seeing, you know, the guys up front, you know, kind of get more to the quarterback here? Um, they've been working hard in the pass rush uh, drills and things like that, working on, uh, you know, moving their hands and everything. So that's been an emphasis, uh, getting to the quarterback. We haven't done it. Uh, as much as we've liked, but it, um, we've been working on it. So, What's the one improvement point, not only for your position, but for the entire defense that you think you needed to fix for the Louisiana Tech? Um, tackling again, just tackling and uh, you know staying in our gaps. Uh, that's about it. Just making sure we execute getting off the field on third down. You'll take pride in the fact that you know, you're giving up some yards, but you're keeping people out of the end zone. That seems to be a theme all year. Is that something you guys are talking about? And it's sort of just taking pride. Yeah. yeah, we definitely take pride in keeping teams out of the end zone. Um, we can hold them to a field goal. That's a win for us for the defense. But uh, you know, we like to keep them out of the end zone as much as possible. How much confidence does it give you guys going into another SEC East game? You know, being able to get off the field on third down a little bit more last week than the week before that. And like you talked about uh, forcing them to, to field goals instead of touchdowns when they got in the red zone. Um, there's a lot more confidence. Uh, there's a bigger emphasis in practice on getting off the field on third down. So, uh, you know, once third down comes up or any of those periods where third down comes up, you know, it's uh, we all have to lock in and it's almost like a do or die situation for us. How personal did you guys take that this week going into this game after after that last one? Um, we took it personally. We did. Uh, I think we need to take it up another level, but um, we're heading it, headed in the right direction with it. TJ, you're leading the SEC in tackles. Are you aware of that? Uh, I was told, yeah. What, what does that mean to you? Um, nothing much. You just got to keep coming out to practice and keep getting better. Um, we're trying to win. Uh, do what I can to help the team win and, uh, you know, just make sure we keep progressing. Uh, we haven't played our best yet, but, uh, you know, we're still fighting and still progressing to get better every day. How does having Bryson out change things for you? Do you have to do some more than you've been doing or things differently? Or? Uh, me personally, no. Um, everything's kind of been the same for me, just making sure I, I get the Sams lined up and, you know, uh, when Danny comes in, things like that. But uh, for me, it's been about the same. Does it put more leadership responsibility? In? I know you have that role already, but does it add to that? Yeah, so um, I just have to be more vocal. You know, he was a really vocal guy. And uh, now that he's not on the field, I have to bring out my – I have to be more vocal um, and be that guy to speak to everybody. TJ, I, 
are you kind of serving as the example, you know, leading SEC in tackles? Are you kind of you know, helping other guys out, you know, along the way? Because you guys are focused so much on tackling right now. Um, yes. Uh, you know, every it's just a, a winning attitude coming out to practice. Just tackle, you know. Um, every drill is supposed to be game like game speed. You know, it just everything's just a game like mentality. So you know, once you get in the game, it's easy. Uh, but you know, the tackling part of it is just everyone's just giving the effort to tackle better. So, how did you guys respond to this game last week? Obviously, you were very happy to win, but there were a lot of things that the team probably needs to clean up. Do you, do you look at this as, you know, okay, we got to win and it's okay, or there's things we need to work on? No, we have a lot to work on. Um, you know, it's, it's good to win, but, you know, it wasn't the prettiest win, but it was a win. But um, we have a lot to work on and improve on going, uh, going forward in the future.